The family of Captain Sir Tom Moore have lost a planning application appeal against the demolition of an unauthorised spa in their garden. Captain Sir Tom raised more than £38 million for the NHS in 2020 during the Covid pandemic. His family say no charity money was used in the construction of the spa. Joe Black has more. Captain Sir Tom Moore rose to prominence during the pandemic, becoming a lockdown icon as he walked a hundred laps of his garden. And in that very garden, this new C-shaped building has become the centre of a notorious planning row and has upset some of the neighbours. It's just there from all my windows, my bedroom windows, every time I come out in the garden, in fact... I really don't come out in the garden because it makes me so cross. The late fundraiser's family applied for a smaller L-shaped structure for the Captain Tom Foundation, which was given the green light. But the planning authority refused a retrospective application for the block, which was eventually constructed, which also included a spa pool. It's not been great living here because there's obviously people that are for it and people that are against it. The local council ordered the building be demolished, but at an appeal hearing, the family said the space could be used to house memorabilia about Captain Sir Tom's work and the spa pool could offer rehabilitation sessions for elderly people in the local area. But today, the planning inspectorate rejected those arguments. The inspector said the scale and massing of the partially built building had resulted in harm to the old rectory, the grade two listed family home. The family have three months to comply with the existing demolition order, but they could appeal further at the High Court. Joe Black, BBC News in Master Morting.